Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you another fascinating attacking game played by the 8th world chess champion Michael Tal. His opponent is Dutch chess grandmaster John van der Wiel and the game was played in 1982 at Moscow Interzonal. At the time of this game Tal's rating was 2605 and van der Wiel's rating was 2470. Taking into consideration the rating inflation for 1982 having a rating of 2605 was pretty high. Here you can see the FIDE rating list for January 1982 where Tal is sharing the 10th place with four other grandmasters. Let's go back to our main board but before starting our game if you are new to my channel consider subscribing in order not to miss my future uploads. And now let's get started with our game. Michael Talet white pieces and he opened up with c4. English opening knight f6 by van der Wiel, knight c3 e6, knight f3 and b6. This is an invitation to enter the queen's indian defense if white plays d4 but Mikhail Tal declines the offer preferring to fight in a less known territories and he went for e4. Bishop b7 and bishop d3. In his previous game against Lev Polugayevsky Tal chose d3 and he actually didn't achieve much with that move that's why in this move he came up with bishop d3 c5 by van der Wiel, white castles kingside knight c6 e5 knight g4 and bishop e4 white is pinning the knight not allowing black to win a pawn queen c8 black is overprotecting the bishop and already the threat is to win the pawn it turns out that van der Wiel had this position previously in a game against Kulikovsky where white went for rook e1. But in here Mikhail Tal made a novelty and instead of indirectly protecting his pawn he went for a pawn sacrifice and played d3. This pawn sacrifice was a new idea that was actually recognized as one of the best novelties of 1982 by the informator team. Black accepted the sacrifice and captured on e5, but let's see, where is white's compensation? Knight takes e5, knight takes e5 and f4. And there it goes, by advancing his f-pawn, white wants to launch an immediate attack. White has already castled king side on the other hand, black king is still in the center and all Mikhail Tal needs is an attack. Knight c6, another interesting move is bishop takes e4, this is also a good alternative. But again, white has a nice attack, you know. Again, in this case, white has a nice attack. In our game after f4, we have knight c6 and f5. Here, van der Wiel played g6, trying to get rid of white's f-pawn, but it was better to play h5. A move suggested by the engine and, from a human perspective, a bit difficult to come up with this move. The idea is not to allow white queen to jump on h5, but in our game we have g6. With this move, black wants to get rid of the f-pawn, but Tal didn't even pay attention to the threat and played bishop g5. He goes for the second pawn sacrifice. g takes f5 was played, which is already a mistake. Instead, it was better to play bishop g7. And now if f6, then bishop f8. Although black is getting a cramped position, but this allows black to neutralize white's attack. But in our game we have g takes f5 and a hyper aggressive move by Tal, bishop takes f5. This time he goes for a peace sacrifice, although I have to tell you that queen h5 was stronger. If bishop g7 then only now white can go for bishop takes f5 and if he takes f5 then knight e4. This is a very devastating attack guys. Or after queen h5 with bishop e7, then once Belek is losing his dark squared bishop, Belek's position again will collapse quickly. If knight takes e7, then knight b5 is coming. Yes, if you cover that square, then bishop takes b7. White is winning. Or after bishop takes e7, if king takes e7, then rook takes f5 is coming. These are simply astounding lines, guys. Then white can easily finish up black king and then queen g7 followed by rook e1 
Black's position is totally lost. Let's go back, but in our game, Tal chose bishop takes f5, bishop e7, but let's take a look what if e takes f5, then white can announce a check from e2, and then play rook e1, intensifying the pressure. If rook g8, with this move, black is gaining some counter-taking chances, and then rook takes g2, check is coming, but white is giving away his queen, after which is starting to harass black king by using the open e file, and then rook takes e7 is coming, and black is actually managing to prolong his resistance, although white stands much better. That's why in view of this line on move 14, instead of playing bishop takes f5, it was better to play queen h5, which was a powerful move, but in our game we have it, bishop takes f5, bishop e7, as mentioned above, e takes f5 was the best choice, but we have bishop e7, and now let's see how will Tal finish up his opponent, queen h5, finally, queen h5 is on the board, now if he takes f5, then the rook is joining the attack, if king d8, then knight d5, this is both intensifying the pressure and is not allowing black king to escape. After queen h5 we have bishop takes g5 and queen takes g5. Knight e7, well if he takes f5 then again rook e1 check is coming and again white is winning. In our game after queen takes g5 we have knight e7 and bishop e4. With this move Tal is opening up the rook's path and what is more important he is neutralizing the possible threats from the g-file and the long diagonal. Black captured on e4 and we have knight takes e4, queen c6, and now you can pause the video and try to find Mikhail Tal's next move. Ready? This time Tal played, rook takes f7, look at this guys, this move is simply blowing apart Black's position. King takes f7 was played, we have queen f6 check, king g8, black king sticks to this rook, but is losing his knight. Rook f8, and believe it or not, but after rook f1, black resigned. With this move, Tal is offering the exchange of rooks in order to get rid of the black rook and threaten knight f6. For example, once you go for the exchange of rooks, it's over. If e5, then knight f6 is coming and you are forced to give up your queen and black's position is totally lost. That's why after this calm rook f1 move, we have a resignation. Just a mind-blowing attack, guys. After that pawn sacrifice in the opening, Thal's attack escalated really very quickly. In the end, a puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find a winning move for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, consider checking them out as well, I will see you in my next video, take care.